So now we'll look at the retrieving information and how to manage that. So here you can see after getting the start detailing option, we'll be able, able to see here the show detailing here about the detailed information related to your slab or maybe the beam, wall, frames. So detailed information directly you can get here and you can retrieve this under this drawing sheet component views and here you can retrieve this. So let us look at this in brief and also you can get the export drawing option and we'll discuss later. So let us understand this show detailing and its peripheral other concept and how to retrieve that. Now we need to go for this show detailing so that the complete detailing information which you have will be retrieved and that you can see here based on the standard details, list of drawing, typical concrete beam elevations, beam sections, floor slab details, beam details, concrete beam, column details, wall details and frame details and reinforcement view and drawing sheet. So let us go to list of drawing. So this list of drawing will be generated that you can see here and also typical concrete beam elevations that directly you can get here the typical concrete beam elevation and also the beam sections that you can see with the complete rebar details depth and width then beam section B that also you can see here concrete column typical elevation this also you can directly retrieve this complete information so this is what you are looking at and also you can get the column sections and let us come to this slab floor framing plan where you can get this particular slabs section view also here you can see the section view of that typical section view so that also you can retrieve section B so exactly the locations and the floor level that you can get here over the projects based on the stories so that particular level you will be able to retrieve here and for any particular slab if you are going for this slab cross section that you can get and next we'll go for the beam schedule if you go for the table one here you can get the complete detail for the concrete beam rebar table here you can get the rebarring detail with the cross section and the span length at the typical span number so this complete schedule you will get which you need to have so this is one of the fundamental requirement and just like for the columns you need to have the framing plans that you will get for the typical column location these are the designation where you will get this so you can understand this in brief when you go for the export and how to manage that that also I will be explaining you at the typical elevations that also you can retrieve and schedule and table concrete column schedule this also you can get at the particular level that information will be also displayed here next if you go to the wall views here also you can get the typical concrete walls details and individual walls view also you can get from here from the elevation you can get that particular walls view all bars here you can see just like that the independent shear wall with the designation you can get so this will be very specific and based on that scale factor which you have set you will get this information just like that the frame details also you will get base frame layout and individual frame details grid elevation and with detail configuration so in this way the complete detail exploration of the sheet component will give you most of the required output and next 
we'll go for the exporting the drawing and then we'll look at the present scenario where we're looking at this project and all this option already we have discussed so you have to extract all this by the step which I have followed just I'll brief you and guide you and also in the reinforcement cage view for the beam you can get the specific details here under this beam heading you can completely get this 3d view so that you can have the overall understanding how it looks like 3d rendering view will give you that particular beams view how you need to do the rewiring and just like that for the columns and walls also you have the specific views this you can see how the scenario will look like that complete specification you can get here so that gives you a clear cut picture and visualization for you can work also you can rotate clearly based on this particular view so that gives you the clear cut picture and where you can exactly emphasize what to do and what not to do and the complete pros and con of the complete process will be given to you so this is very important so as per the particular code and provision how you need to do that you have to decide just like that in case of a shear wall also what exactly will be the rebarring and how you do the managing and integration with the specific level that you have to check here and that you can get the details with the view so this is I think one of the fine option which really will like and this particular option will give you the edge to give the overview exactly what you are going to do is right and how you can modify based on the typical design requirement and need so that you can look at this particular option and drawing sheet finally you can extract all these details in some terms of your sheet maybe the concrete beam schedule if you are going for this particular option then you will be able to retrieve this information and you can directly take a print of that just like that the wall reinforcement elevations you can get here which I have shown in 3D so that you can get the reinforcement in terms of the elevation and wall reinforcement plan at a typical section that also you can get so in this way you can retrieve all the information and you spend couple of more time in understanding this in brief and try to explore this so as yeah, so you can start with a simple four column and G plus two structure and try to apply this and understand based on your simple structure and simple shear wall and then you can move to a critical high rise or maybe a higher a G plus structure and you can understand the scenario in a more broad and complex sense so I think this will hope and definitely it will help you in understanding your requirement and next we'll look at the detailing and exporting the drawing so how you can export the drawing when you go for let us say start detailing and when detailing will be calculated and then you can export each and every individual drawing based on your required format DWG or DXF and you can easily calculate the numbers that means the number of drawings or the formats which you need to use when you go for the practical implementation so it's almost done the drilling process and I will show you how you can export it is very simple the exporting is just selecting the option and configuring the required output based on your requirement so if you go to this detailing and go for the export drawing so directly what you can do is you can choose the formats which you are looking at is taking some time because all the lots of bunch of informations are in the back end and processing maybe I can select here uh, maybe column typical elevation so this you need to export 
so again I will go for this so you can see this here export as drawing current sheet this is the current sheet or all the drawing you can go for all sheet or selected sheet that you can select here which one you need just you can take it so if you are going for this current sheet and where you need to save in the target directory and just you go for start exporting it let us say I'll go for the current sheet and I'll browse and look at the folder let us say this is the exercise folder chapter 6 where I need to save it and just you go for start exporting and this particular drawing format DXF or DWG will be exported and that will be saved in your drawing folder and that particular format will be in DXF or you can select DWG also next we'll look at this particular project and already I have explained this project and all these options in detail just I will brief and couple of tips I will give while handling this project and then we'll finish with this project and then we'll move to the exercise which are there for you thank you